10 new Galaxy AI features coming with the new One UI update. Hey guys, my name's Kevin and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to look at the 10 key Galaxy AI features that's available in the S24 series. It may also be coming to a device near you. So recently Samsung have actually come out and they've announced that they're going to release Galaxy AI on even more devices through the new One UI 6.1 update. This means that we're going to start seeing older Galaxy devices start to adopt some of those cutting edge tools that have been the main selling point for the S24. The AI features can really be broken down into three categories. Those which enhance productivity, those which assist with creativity, and also if you've got features that empower communication, especially breaking down the barriers of language. No shopping takes or critical reviews today, just a chill video jam-packed with mobile AI, so sit back and enjoy the Kev analysis. Starting with productivity tools, these enable seamless user experience in day-to-day -day tasks aimed to drive efficiency. Number one, circle to search. This is my personal favorite feature of Galaxy AI. Whenever you're using your phone and you come across an image appearing on your screen that you're interested in, Circle to Search powered by Google gives you answers in seconds. Imagine coming across a piece of tech or furniture from your favorite influencer and wondering what it is, how much it costs, and where you can get it from. Or if you're just out shopping, you see an item you like and you're wondering whether you can get a better deal on a similar or better item online. Simply by holding on the home key and circling the object of interest, Google uses pixel matching to provide multiple web sources with a similar image in seconds. It's so easy to use. The second feature is Galaxy AI Notes. To take advantage of this feature, you first need to be using Samsung's native Notes app. Simply by pressing on the star icon, Notes can now take your content, format it into bullet points, it can summarize your content in both a standard and detailed manner, correct spelling, or even translate it to another language. What I love about this feature as well is that you get five different styles of formats of summarized notes to choose from. For those who have a pen device, you can also use text recognition via OCR to convert your scribed notes into text and then further using all the AI features to transform your content. Number three, we're moving on to Galaxy Browser Assist. The Samsung browser contains a new browser assist function which lets you quickly summarize or translate articles. Samsung gets it. We're all busy and there's endless content competing for our attention. So long articles create a huge barrier for us. Simply press on the star icon to quickly summarize entire web pages, taking away the most crucial points. You can also select from a standard or more detailed summary. Last in the productivity category, we've got Transcript Assist. Now picture this, you're in a meeting and you're navigating your way through taking notes whilst asking questions and also ensuring that you make contributions to discussion points. And then after the meeting, you need to take all of that away, summarize your notes, structure it, so much time wasted and you're thinking, surely there's a better way. Voice Recorder app allows you to convert pre-recorded content into text and then summarize and structure it. It can even detect different speakers and it's pretty accurate too if you speak clearly. Now you can use Galaxy AI to record all your meetings and instantly break down the key points to use or share with others. You can also use Transcript Assist live transcribed voice recordings that you can take on the Voice Recorder app. So instead of spending time writing an email or important message, you can transcribe it and even have the translation summarized and corrected simply by pressing on the star icon. What are your thoughts on Galaxy AI? Let me know in the comments section below. Next, moving on to creativity tools that really unlock your creative potential. For number five, we're going to look at generative edit. You can now easily remove objects, reflections, restructure then refill parts of an image, or even place an object into a new image background with generative AI. This would have been painful doing manually. Open a photo that you want to edit in galleries, hit the pen icon, then the blue star icon to access generative edit. You can then hold the screen to select specific objects 
or draw around them to select specific regions. Remove unwanted people in a background image. Remove unwanted items in a stock photo. Straighten images and fill in the background. Even pulling pants down. Maybe not. No, seriously. Samsung does block inappropriate content, so don't get your hopes up here. On number six, edit suggestion. A convenient to use quick auto editing tool that suggests different editing styles to suit your photos and allows before and after comparisons on the spot. This automatically adjusts the exposure, highlights, shadows, black and whites, and all other categories which photographers will know what I'm talking about. So you get polished images without having to get into all the technical photography stuff. Next up, Instant Slow-Mo, another really cool Galaxy AI feature. Open your videos and hold the screen to play the video in super slow motion. This works much better with a higher frames per second setting. So make sure you're shooting using at least 60 FPS to get that extra smooth motion. This feature is quite fun and really cool but I personally haven't come across a good use case. Louise has found some amusement in sniping some silly facial expressions though. Lastly, let's look at some communication tools that transcend language barriers in real time. This is a fun one. Chat Assist helps you fine tune your context, changing up the style to suit your audience and the intended message you wish to convey. This feature is embedded in the actual Samsung keypad. So to enable this, Make sure you have the Samsung keyboard and the advanced intelligence settings on your phone enabled. You can then click on the star icon to either convert your text into another language, change up the writing styles, or perform a spelling and grammar check. If you struggle with tone and you want a more professional style, hit the star icon, change the context to professional, and then hit insert. The writing style feature lets you transform your text into various different styles from professional to one that's stacked with emojis and hashtags for social media engagement. Number nine, Samsung now comes with an interpreter app which is like a personal translator. Using a user-friendly split screen to translate from your spoken language directly to any other language you choose. This app is very similar to Google Translate but slightly better and more user-friendly. Two users communicating in a foreign language can stand on opposite sides of the phone and easily communicate on the spot with a split screen mode. This app is so easy to use and becomes really handy when you're traveling. Simply open it from the quick settings panel and then select interpreter. Lastly on number 10, the live translate feature translate a foreign language straight and reads it out to you in real time and then translate your language back to the other person. Due to the processing time, there is a slight delay which doesn't create the best experience. I find muting both original voices and only allowing the translation to go through makes it a lot easier to follow. I think this would work a lot better if the other person knew about the feature and had patience. It does take some time to get used to, but it does work when it's absolutely needed. There you have it. The 10 key Galaxy AI features coming with a new One UI update. I think Samsung is a really early mover in the AI mobile space. And this really does set a trend for competitors to come out there and also compete with this offering. I'm really excited to see what Apple and Google will do, especially Google since they're so heavily invested into AI. Once they hit, I'll be sure to cover it off in a future episode. So make sure to like and subscribe and tap that bell icon for future videos. Now over to you guys. What's your favorite Galaxy AI feature? Let me know in the comment section below.